Okay, what I'm starting off is I'm going to talk about the small little still life of wood blocks in the lower corner of this video. I'm telling the students right now that I want you to stop using line and drawing. I want you to start looking for height and the width of objects, where it starts in the bottom, how tall it goes. That's what I'm explaining to the students right now. It goes with the measuring and what we found yesterday. And this is just a quick description of what the lesson was. So listen. Move it to the top. I'm going to go up and I'm going to say it's right about here. I picked that first distance. I found two dots and I found that distance. I made it up. That is now the size of the rest of my blocks. I would use that as my measuring. Everybody remember that? So when I go over and I measure, I say, okay, there's the height of my block that I see. These two things equal each other, kind of like a road map. One inch equals a mile. For this, one little spot of my pen equals this paper mark here. So now I want to measure how far it goes over. Well, now I'm going to go like this. I'm going to go start at this line. I'm going to go one, two, three, four. About four over. So I'm going to take this line, and I'm going to go over one, two, three, four, and I'm going to say that the line's going to be over here somewhere. That's where we're going to stop. But I'm going to find the dot to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over and I'm going to measure it and I'm going to look at it. Remember the negative space? Yesterday we put up the pen and we saw the negative space. I'm going to put mine flat at the table and I'm going to notice that there is a triangle shape. And if I look at this dot, it happens roughly halfway through here. So there's my new dot right there. Okay, now I'm going to look at the top part of negative space. It's about the same. It goes through just roughly right above here. And there's the dot above it. Now I got the two dots and I found my lines. Now that I have these dots and these dots, I can do this. And I've got my angle starting for my block. I didn't draw it all out. I found it. I measured it. I used it. My composition is strong. Now it could be wrong, and I'll worry about fixing it later. Okay, but this is what we're working on. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to find that really hard angle that's over here instead of drawing it back. A lot of people make their squares and then go back and make those lines and not correct. I'm going to find over how far it goes over and how far it goes up. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to use my measurement again. I'm measuring there and I'm measuring over this way. Wow, it's about the same. Here to here is about the same. So it's about here. Somewhere on this mark, it's going to happen. Now I'm going to use my negative space, got my line going across. Oh my gosh, it happens almost the same height right about here. There's my dot. All right, how high does it go up? Well, if I went over to the other one across here, I went dot, 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 comes right here. The dot happens a little bit above it. So there's my line I make. Then I connect my spots. And now I'm finding my block. And I'm finding truly what I'm looking at. I'm really finding my angles. Now, if you're just making it up on your own, you just got to make sure everything makes sense. But if you're drawing something that has a block or a table in it, and then you're going to add like a bowl on top of the table, you want everything to look like the same perspective. You want the size and composition to make sense. So if you visually can't place all this stuff really quick, there's ways to cheat it down. Okay? To finish up, you don't have to watch this clip, but I'm just going to put uh, some finishing touches on the blocks and how I saw it and leave some marks as the students start to get to work.